What's good in the hood, my dudes? But finding me proved Time no to simple start. task. For having Witcher. fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Well... Okay. Let's do the cabaret. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. This can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. Your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, guard! Damn it! Uh, uh, better than I thought! Uh. Go on, Dandelion! I mean, he's an Avenger! The Crimson Avenger. Triumphs. <laughs> Are you well? I knew it. One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. I didn't even Be look gone, at vile it. bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. I mean, what the ah. fuck? By Snow Horowitz, now. I'm Whoa. in the... Will I... Is it an energy drink or... A green drink? I don't know. He's so good. Zoltan? Get out! Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Leo. Let's play. Did I get the special card? No. I ain't sure.
let's try this. Oh shit. Oh, what? That sucks.
Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, Special Seems I won. A right fucking shock giving your frankly Yay. amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame. I got dandelion for that. You might skim uh, something Roche. off your mate, Roach. Roach. He's said to have good cards. Thanks. Zoltan. Get out. About those cards. You got them? Not yet. Oh, it's a way. <laughs> Let me see. Can I see my deck?
don't know how to give, you can't oh, be I'm gonna save. The morning, so... It's like 7 a.m. Understanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See, it's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm, what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she has to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get out. You've known him longer. Say something. Boudoir <laughs> seems like a better fit for Cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. And here's mm. to the principle that a life I don't enjoy quite is a agree, life well lived. You need more. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Uh -oh. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Witcher! Witcher! The... The girl figures something out. I killed that one. You're a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Shut up! Ah. Not in vulgar girl. I was made for 
Slower. My wife's mum's an old succubus. Oof. Great mother. Winds howling. Open up. Okay, noise. I need to sell more though. Is he the guy? To make some flow. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows 
anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm she sure. Likes you. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. <laughs> Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait. Do we have to just... How would you know? It's not as if we started working together. You'd visit her? I'd hide out here hey. while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They... So, Polly... I never... The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is... Fine. Find anything? Not here. It and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. So... Hubio, right? Polly's told me so... You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My, my... Get out of here, boat! Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Okay, then. Thank you, Ooh. girl. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlek? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know.
I'll go see. Really? No, said that. Portside. See you soon. Okay. I had to do a bit of checking. Let's go here. Oh! I really need to solve some stuff. Why is he not here? Sketchy. He should be here. Oh, no. Some fellas out, master. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're but. Except witches are more. Old village. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Fine. Take this. Well, that's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, Master. We'll knock one back in your honor. I'll never be so bad. Beat here. Time I went back to see. Ah! Is that by the choice? I don't know. We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured. Poor leg. You tracked many a monster. Would you? Why not? Lead the way, Mo. Need some kind. Uh, sewers. Sewer slime. Whoa! Won't be easy to find mages in this mob. Easier than you think. You just need to set them on the Aye, to Stop leave this city somehow. Uh. 
Blood. Fresh. Take pity, sir. I'm a sick child. Even more misery besides. No loitering round here. Why are you bothering him, you grub? Can't you see he's you busy? You to show your customers some respect. The rubbish you offer. Um, what did you find out? Oi! There's that thing. Gotcha, Horsen. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, Witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. Do what you will. Need no convincing there. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Yeah, you find something pretty. Slower. Faster. Oh, I need to repair. I'm gonna walk. <laughs> Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You diff. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. 
And here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Any last words? No! You'll regret this, mutant! Oh, where is he, bro? Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Mm -hmm. That's it? Oh. It's so far the nearest street. There's another quest here. I will see. Ooh, ooh, ah. Deepest apologies. Well, Rodlick, it seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out. Ah. You, Rodlick? Henri Rodlick, artist. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose? Let's do this. I'll let you are that far from the worst. Thank you. 
Crackers. Okay, okay. Spoons will be that I am also out of stomach. never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Oh! Trade we do with the Empire. We shall lose our shares in the Maritime Company. Such the time is my... Wondering if I can take part in the races. If you've coin for the riders, decide quickly, please. Oh. These races. They run as per Erasmus Vagel Bud's dying wit. Family doesn't. But the house, his fortune. Any special. They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. I want to Grand. Geralt of Rich. Excellent. On three, one, two, three, off you go! Come on, Roach. Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? But I think I already have this trip. Or no. I do. I'm just gonna sell them. <laughs> Displayed in the sideshows. Well, this could be fun. I jump. Oh. More harmony between jockey and steed. You'd think them a pair of old lovers. Synergy oh, wow. between them. Come on, Roach.
Okay. Uh, it's just the cross dresser, so I think I can sell my other stuff. Imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. You never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before nice. I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Yes, everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? Of course, let's boy. celebrate. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground? You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Ask the dandelion! Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, 
been attacked. They, they oh, took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Hi, Enzo. What's up? What's up? Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Oh, no ordinary. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Of course. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again. Oh no, I this is a side quest. <laughs> Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves oh, such shit. a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Let's go. Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Does so, this feel preventive sick? medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Wait, 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 wait. Why is this not... ...the main quest?
Show me what you got. I'm trying out the new ability. Straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will. It's her voice. Oh, Surely no. you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Run, please, or no? Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner. Yeah, for he, he feels so sketchy. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Human. Wrong body type. Isn't it? Let's keep looking. That's got to be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Mm, genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No <laughs> sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Oh shit. Wait a minute, there's something else. What 
Good start. An egg from an amphibian. Egg? A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Mm -hmm. this way. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Oh. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Yeah. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Oh, shit. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Oh, no. Just like Priscilla's. Why, though? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankles swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm hmm. And a different sense of humor. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, know. please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What yeah. the motive might have been. Oh. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. Ah, uh, okay, that's what I'm following. Okay. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. A student. Lifelong. Very well, speak. But be quick. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... 
Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I decide when we're done with it. An old story. But if you insist, the student... What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him. As do I, at the hospital. And I'll keep my eye. Hey. Mine's like war. Ah. Heaven. Oh. Bloody bandits! Out in the streets no more! At least the father didn't used to kill women. Fool of foul of the king's fingers. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? Aye. How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> No ice, no art. One of them, right? <laughs> oh, purse me for, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off. Mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Easy. Triflings, baubles, gloss beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner till it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight, now. Let's go! 
And I like yours. Move it. That's it, Roach. So, how you go with this? On you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much. Lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's debate you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. I thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know we could have folk give bleak orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. A craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City cemetery. She died a few it's days big. back, oh, quietly no. in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. We've talked enough. Fine. Bye. We've talked enough. Maybe we can use the magic. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Phoebe and Leah when they found him. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. If I go inside the workshop, I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want.
Humanoid. Completely rotten. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Nothing here. to see you been another victim Mother. told me to say the main door will be open hey handsome i know that smell formaldehyde Pathetic. You're carrying. Think you'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well. Why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other act- Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work go- Take care now. I gotta look around some more- Naturally. We'll stand aside. Oh, the head's ringing. I hope. A brazier. This time of year? Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Watch it, Tran. No. Ah! Smash 
So sleepy. Ah. That's it, Roach. It might be dark. I'm sorry. right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter, and I know who you are, what drives you. I... Von Gratz told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had... People were dying, Witcher. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. In that respect, this work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if... Who's the vic- Yoris Aquinas. A lecturer in- th Any titles in- It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Yeah. Mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back what? with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? No. Yes. Even went to her estate once with. Gotta find her now. She. Till next time. Concerned citizen. What can I do? Good folk! Mages have sent the hunters out! 
They seek to burn the city down! It's kind of far away. Is this it? Oh, this might not be. Anyway, might be better to just walk. So I'm gonna eat. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can- Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery, understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. I'm hunting a serial killer. Why, even if it's true? He's exceptionally cruel when he kills. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh! He, he ran out the other door! Catch him! Shit. Given me no choice. Really? Did he? Spread out! Murder is still here! There he is! Get him! The oh, oh. I saw him. Fuck it, John. Did I miss him? Did I feel that? Halt! For I put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once. Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do oh, not shit. wish to see her. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer. 
and why he almost got oh, caught. Shit. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Let's go. Piss off. Yeah, brain. What's he doing here? What so She's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What? No foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. Huh? I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all... I paid in advance.
You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Okay, so I just leave uh. them there. Wait, how about Oh my god, I broke her. People help me! Mutant, plan a fuck off. Oh, watch where you're walking. I'm alive! Alive! You're... Bad idea. Faster. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Need a minute. Very well, but... Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? I'm here. Excellent. Hello. Splendid. I'm the... The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. Down. Oh. formaldehyde i underestimated you you almost caught me in flagrante delicto now you've seen through my bluff with nathaniel although you've not divined all i see had you you would have drawn your silver sword who what are you a vampire higher of course Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice.
You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I last fought a Witcher two... And you? Have you faced... Wait, 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 wait. Um... Listen. Um, her? <laughs> we can gather it here. Come on, Roach. Faster.
Rose. Better, right? Y yes Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yes, girl. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university an because it suits Radovid. The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid... I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. Now another Shun. surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Uh, okay. Know her? Red hair, crop... And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I... Any idea where she... My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, pat... Yeah. Farewell. Geralt? Geralt? That's not all of God. Yes, Geralt? Okay, bye bye. Farewell. <laughs> yes, Geralt? What? How did you go down? Well. Oh. Get up.
Bugs everywhere. I, I, I see all What will become of us under Radovi? Come on. Masuk ke ngajen luce. Here we go. Kau masuk ke ngajen apa ini? Yung pala nagpapapikat eh. Perfect. Some we get some co yeah. I'm gonna try this guard here. Yeah. Let's go. Mr. Torrential Rain, let me search. Okay, it's gonna be for siege. No, it's not this time.
got here first. This is. Over there again. Oh, Over there again, when you roach. haunts it. It... Will you see what sort of fun... Sounds like... Thank you. God, that's not the ah. nice Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid. Especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty-handed. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunters to find the other two. I must flee now. 
I mean, thanks. Like, yes. It's the treasure. How is this? Let's stand like this. Hey, yeah. Just a little bit. Oh! 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 Oh no, I'm pushing the tip. Faster. Right. The fun grabber is going to look. Whoa there, Roach. Oh, where am I? Minus like more. Another side quest. Give it to me. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, they call you. You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. No. Huh? This is a misunderstanding. But fine. Yeah. Remember the preacher.
Zed's in sun. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. I'll give you a discount. Oh, no. Ah! Well. What is that frown about? But don't see Adam. Open up. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Ooh! They say some witches are a black one. Hmm. Ah! Mm. Ooh. Mm. I'd give you a discount for oh, heroic no. deeds, but the madam, well, you know. Zed. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? 
Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the ism, Grimcard. Greetings. Time to shine! Get him! Die. Ethan Grimm foiled Tiana from the square tail deck. Now we're looking for some how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Now we're looking for something. Now we're looking for something. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Zed had an ornery cat, but there's a hidden compartment under there. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Get in. Zed give you much trouble? He did. Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cars? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Zed's. I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Pilsen? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card shop and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Good luck to me. This is... I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the madam, well, you know. Oh. Good luck to me, this is your quest. Anyway, 
I am gonna end Faster. the stream there, guys. I'll give you a discount ah! for heroic deeds, but the man This episode well, was, you know, easy. Full of sleepiness and mm. sadness. Mm. Ah, you normally pay for that. Ah. Ah. So, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. That's it, Roach. <laughs>